So this caught my eye. Um, you know, Herschel Walker down in Georgia. Who's and that? You have Lindsey <laughs> <laughs> and you have, you know, Lindsey Graham was on talking about support for him. And I just, this caught our ears and eyes here on CNN This Morning. Watch this. They're trying to destroy Herschel to deter young men and women of color from being Republicans. If they destroy Herschel, it will deter people of color from wanting to be a conservative Republican because you just have your life ruined. We cannot let that happen. We need, his, we need to have his back. If Herschel wins, he's going to inspire people all over Georgia of color to become Republicans, and I say all over the United States. Herschel Walker is a nightmare for liberals. He's an African-American conservative. They have belittled him. They have treated him like crap, his family, Stand by Herschel tonight. If you can give, give. If you know somebody that can give, ask them to do it. TeamHerschel.com. The conservative movement for people of color is on the ballot in Georgia. We must help people like Herschel for the benefit of our country and the future of conservatism. TeamHerschel.com, please. Do, do you want to go first? Or you want me? <laughs> Van, you go. Uh, well, first of all, he's a nightmare to the children that he has abandoned and done nothing for. He's a nightmare to his own son who came out and said he lies all the time and shouldn't be in office. He's a nightmare. But look, if you want to, if you, if you are a young black person, you want to be a conservative, there's a guy named Tim Scott I would direct you to if you want somebody in the Senate who you can look up to. The idea that, again, everything has to be at the extreme. If you don't want someone with his uh, lack of qualifications and bad personal character to be in the Senate. You now hate all conservatives and don't want any black people to be conservative. That's not true. All of us got conservative black people in our families. Yeah. What are you talking about? Let me tell what you. What are you talking about? This is what he's talking about. People like him always talk about race baiting, <laughs> identity oh. politics. Here we this, go. This is race baiting. This is race baiting in the worst form to say because someone doesn't like, if you're black and you don't like this, this is the worst thing. So if you don't, if you believe like, you know, liberals are the people who are not MAGA and they're always race baiting or they believe in identity politics, that's exactly, that's exactly what, what, he's doing. what he's doing. The hypocrisy yeah. Psh, yeah, it, off the charts there. And then, he, you know, the, uh, oh my gosh, I thought he was going to start crying like a Southern preacher. <laughs> He's like a televangelist. To vote, yeah, tell people just because you're you're black and you don't you know you don't support Herschel Walker, that is the worst, I believe, form of race. I, I, I think so. And here's the reality: um, if the Republican Party continues to make its basic case around fiscal conservatism, that sort of stuff, they'll pick up some black votes. Uh, look, I have two African American female cousins. Uh, uh, one of them is named Karsha Kirkendall. She said she said to tell the world who are MAGA Trump conservative and proud of it. And I love them and they love me. The idea that we need someone like Lindsey Graham to explain to us how to relate to different political positions in our own community is just ridiculous. I mean, it's almost embarrassing. And if you're going to be that evangelical in your belief about somebody, be evangelical about the values that this man has violated when it comes to abandoning his own children. How long before, you know, after this, you'll hear someone like Lindsey, Lindsey Graham or someone else like if I do, you do, uh, you know, Abandoning their children in the black community. Do you know, well, you know yeah, I'll be doing that tomorrow. And by the way, I don't know if my cousin Karsha is MAGA. I know that she's a Republican. So <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that will get you in the worst. Exactly. Trouble. exactly. Slight difference uh, there. Exactly. It's a slight difference there. So I, I, I take it back. I know that she's, yeah. she's a strong, proud conservative, and I love my cousin. Love it when we have you here. Thank you, Ben Thank Jones. You. Appreciate Van. it so much.